G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, I'm currently still working on that little Stirling engine, trying to get it to run, and got a bit of shed time going at the moment. The weather's not too bad. It's about, oh, gee, it's almost a hot 17 degrees today. Anyway, I'm making up a new displacer. Uh, I'll show you where I'm at with that. I've machined up out of stainless steel this... Uh, hollow displacer. I've got an end cap to go on that. I've got to clean up the end. Uh, when I parted this off, I had to actually part this off with the, the Hilda because the stainless, uh, I got halfway through with the world's cheapest parting off blade holder and it's the first time ever it snapped the blade. Yeah, stainless. Pretty hard to part off stainless. It's the first time I've ever broken a blade on that uh, putting off blade on that well cheapest putting off um, holder because normally it works great so we just put a friction disc in I've got a big one like this just put out in the Hilda and just slice through the uh, just grab my way through that the stainless with that it does a pretty good job but I'll have to just dress up the end with a finer grit stone that one I used that cutting disc was a bit coarse but yeah, it's the way to get through hard stuff if you've got to work on, you know, really hard materials. It can go through anything. You can see how accurate the little Chinese lady Look at the inside of that. That's uh, perfecto. You know, a very thin wall. That was solid stock. And we just machined that down. People that can these lathes really don't know what they're talking about. These things are incredibly accurate. Well, the ones I've used have been incredibly <laughs> accurate. Maybe there are some lemons out there, but... I got my doubts. I think they're pretty damn good for the money. So, where are we at? Well, I've got to uh, dress the end, as I said. That'll be no big deal. I'll just use the, the Hilda for that. But I've got to also dress the end of the cap, the little cap where I parted it off. The inside's finished. It's got a little recess, a little lip, and then it fits into the end of the of the displacer so here's the displacer and the little cap just the end goes in like so we've got a a very lightweight stainless steel displacer now the thing is I've got to clean that end up there's two ways you could do this you could actually lock tight this in let it stand overnight or super glue it and let it stand overnight Stick it in your, your collet, because once again, you want to grip this with collet, so a normal chuck would crush that, deform it. Collets won't crush or deform. But we don't actually have to do that. We can actually just grip this tiny little, this tiny little cap with a collet. No problem. You couldn't possibly do it with a normal size chuck. It just wouldn't be possible. So... Let's do it. You know, once again, this is where collets are so good. You just keep going. You don't have to stop and wait for glue to dry and all that. We can just do it. Piece of cake. So once again, we're using ER32 collet. I'll just take my chuck off. Put the, the chuck centre in. Now where's our the, the bit? Oh, here it is. We can actually fit that in. Do up the collar. I don't know if you go super hard because it's only a light component. Collets work best when you go full length, but they will grip on the end. Don't over tighten them if you do grip on the end. So now we'll just bring in the in Hilda on an angle so we don't have any clearance problems we can then just grind across we've got enough travel yep no problem so we just bring it in 
So it attaches. Lock down the carriage. I'll reverse the chuck. Make sure you wear eye protection when you do this. It'll be a bit noisy as well. So come off the job, start her up. Get the going on the lowest speed. Because it revs pretty fast. Job done, really. Just dress it up a bit more on a bit of uh, an oil stain or a bit of wet and dry. It was that easy, that fast, that simple. That's why, as I've always stressed my videos, collets, collets are the way to go, you know. If you haven't got a set of collets and you've got a lathe, you should go and see a shrink, quite frankly, because they will make life a hell of a lot easier. You can basically just get away with murder, you know. There we are. Look at that. We got to finish on that. Great, eh? <laughs> so there you go, folks. A quick and dirty video just to show you. Yes, definitely get a set of collets on your Christmas list. Once you do that, um, anything's possible. All right, that's it. See you next time. Cheers.